putting in some white um, with a bit of uh, cold wax in it just to give it some body. Pick up a little bit of that yellow in the middle and a bit of burnt umber here which I'm going to mix in with white and then just using the squeegee again just to, this is really a, an undercoat so just wanting to get some paint on the paper getting it more or less covered and then we can let it dry and work back into it but we want a solid layer underneath to be able to have something to scrape back into. I do quite like just leaving a few little touches of white paper though showing through, uh, particularly along here on the edge of the sea. And we can already see how this is lending quite nicely. Uh, I think probably we might look at putting some more white up on this horizon line here, moving that upwards to lend into the sky. It might need to dry before it can go any further. But already you can see that you know, we've got something into which one can start mark making. Probably a bit heavy at the moment. Not sure about that little bit of yellow, that might yet get worked over, but I am wanting to vary the tones a bit. white just coming along here. So very much just putting something down and responding to it really. Slightly different colour palette. I just fancied a bit of this lovely turquoise which is always so beautiful with a with a brown, whether that's an umber uh, or an ochre. I'm working here as I say with the, um, the burnt umber which has got that lovely rich tone to it. I uh, quite like the different shades that we're getting in the sea. I should probably work over some of that with a, a yellow glaze. But this bit here is looking quite interesting because it's looking like some spray. Where some of this heaviness is in the sky, I might decide that I'd like to put some headland in there. But we'll see how that, how that goes. I think just a little bit of turquoise down in the front. And then we might be ready just to leave this to dry. Um, on paper, where this is quite thin, I would be thinking that this would be dry enough to work back into tomorrow morning. It tends to soak right into the paper. This is an Arches oil paper that I'm using here, which um, is probably my favourite for oil on paper. Yeah, I'm not liking the not quite got enough going on to start working back into that yet. Probably I shall stop that there for the moment.